We are live at 11.05 on BC. This is Spirit Cars. And live at 11.05 is brought to you by SpiritCars.com. We build hot rod cars, mostly fiberglass kits, but we do a lot of turnkeys. We do some paint. We do just uh, all kinds of stuff. Um, a lot of tea buckets. It's summertime. Time to play with the teas. Everybody's anxious to get their cars. So I think we're just going to walk down the line. And we have been doing a for Rodney a... I'm calling it the 2XLT. We took one of our original extended tees, and then he wanted it bigger, and I was a little concerned about the way the look was going to be. We put it in the in the call section, but it looks it looks pretty darn good, and it's in the spray booth now. The bottom's already been painted. Frame's already been extended. Now we're, we're getting ready to paint the uh, body today, so I think what we're going to do is we'll just go that way and talk about paint. We'll talk about paint a little bit. Is that good? But I need your help. Rodney needs your help. We all need your help. He wants flames on it. And it's going to be kind of a, I'm not sure what style of flames, kind of an old school. It's not going to be a true fire flame, but it's going to be kind of a ghost flame. So we need a style, and there are lots of styles. Uh, we've sent Rodney two or three or four pictures uh, for him to decide. So why don't you copy-paste your favorite flame job? In, this, in the comment section. You can do that. That would help us out a lot. That might help Rodney. <coughs> and I think it'd be pretty cool to see, uh, it could be, you know what they do, they call it, it's like Tire Tuesday and, and Headlight whatever. Flame Friday. It's Flame Friday. <laughs> okay, so show us your flames. Alright, so show us your flames. Keep them going. We got some, I, I call these aqua flames. So we got aqua flames. Aqua. So we're in the theme. Uh, aqua floors, flames. Floors Come on now. Oh, we got two cars with flames. It's just classic. Mm -hmm. These cars are coming together. Eddie's been helping me. We're just tightening up. You see, this is down to the last, tightening it up. We're doing this. This one's coming together. It looks like there's some wires hanging out on this. We talked about this one the other day, but I mean, that was the classic 10 pounds in a five pound bag. I am getting stuff under the dash, but it's pretty tight. We got all the, the heat and all that tidied up. I just got a couple wires to, to button up on there. But uh, believe it or not, here, now we don't need to show that. Let's come this way. <laughs> Let's come this way. Okay. The tall T, we got to kind of paint a few parts. We're going to put this back together. We're going to do some etching on this. Um, we're going to do that. It's a laser etcher that does really cool. We're going to do the bolts in that. We'll probably do that next week. I think Larry's coming back up. Do you see the flames on this one? Yeah. Okay, so I've got two. So Spirit put up two flames for Friday. So let, what you got? Show us what you got. Especially if you got flames on your own car. Put your picture up there. So here's the XL, 2XL key just kind of coming together, but it's in the booth here. Blocking, 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 blocking. I thought it was going to be painted Tuesday. Here it is Friday. That was two extra days of blocking, but you can never block enough. So, we have added into the call section here approximately, I believe, four inches. So we kind of cut, we whacked, we reshaped, we did, um, had to redo the floor. Um, Turn it over, redid the floor and the bottom. So we've got the bottom painted. The way we do this masking tape, you can see here. So the bottom of the car has already been painted. And this is, what's up under here? We're going to This is a very difficult area to paint um, from the top side. So when we got it upside down, we paint all this. And now it's been masked off. So when we uh, go ahead and, and take it apart, or after we paint the top and unmask it, then this will be nice and slick. It's already cleared. It's already done. Otherwise, it's awful hard to get up in there and paint under here and to do all that. Um, we need to show this, too, because this is the first one we've ever done. We've got hidden hinges on this deck lid. Um, wow. It came up pretty neat. So, Careful, Bob. We got that. Uh, we got leaky air. Corporate don't like that. It costs money when you got leaky air. <laughs> But this, this was, it looks good, it's hidden hinges. We had a 
a customer ask, uh, or I guess he's seen one of our shows and and talked about, oh, you can do, um, I don't know what you can call them, hidden hinges, but hinges that you can't see. And uh, well, yeah, we. I told him I didn't go to school to learn how to build stuff. I just built stuff. So we, we can figure out the hinges. Well, here they are, right here. So what you've got, and here, okay, here's the secret of the day. This is the top secret. I'm not going to give you the mathematical formula, but it really doesn't matter what this shape is. I could make this look like, I mean, I could come around here and come like that. It's all about the pivot point. It's all about the pivot point. So if I got my pivot point right, it comes up under here, wherever they are, somewhere right, right about, oh, there's a bolt in there. I got my pivot point right, it's going to open up like so. Now, the thing here, you see this gap, or the, uh, the big flat spot, there's only a minimal gap. If you don't have that pivot point right, what's going to happen, if you're too close and back, it's going to want to open right into it, and it won't open past it. What you want is for the hinge to open up out and past it. So did I give him the secret place for the, the pivot point? Get it back. Well, depending on where the, the depth of this, get it back, say a couple inches, inch or so, and make sure the pivot point is as close to, on this one will be the top as possible. If I was doing the door, I would want the pivot point as close to the outside of the body and probably right about this, say this is my door where we cut out right here. So if I was having a hidden hinge over here, if I put the hidden hinge out like this, and I can make this and bend it, it's going to open into the door. You can kind of see that would open into the door if I had the pivot point way out here. So I want that pivot point, oh, I would say right about in here, uh, tight to that. And again, you can bend this shape any way you want. Um, make sure you're, as in just a regular external hinge, make sure that you're parallel, your two holes are parallel with each other, otherwise you'll have them in a bind and it'll, it will open up and, and want to bind as it's opening. That doesn't work very good. So we're here, we're, we're, we're trying to get it done. Rodney's wanting his car by the end of the month, so we're going to, one way or another, he's going to have his car by the end of the month. If you're going to put flames on, it's just much better if you can paint the car off, um, paint the body off the, off the frame. So we'll get this body painted, at least sanded, I'm, I would assume that this is going to be sanded at 600. I don't know if it feels like it's about to 600 now, I think it's going to start painting right after lunch. So we'll get it to 600 real slick, put the orange on. And what I like to do, I actually like to uh, put a coat of clear on it first. Uh, and we'll let it sit overnight, and then we'll go ahead and wet sand that clear. So this will have a urethane clear on top of the base coat before we even start. And then we'll go ahead and put, uh, put the flames on, and this being a ghost flame, I'm going to go to the parts store, the paint store now, and look for some transparent colors, and look for some pearl colors that are in that range. That, that you can see through. I don't want it to be so hard on there it's just going to stand out. I want it to be, if the sun look, you know, hits it in the right angle, you'll see them, but if, if you're looking at another angle, it may look totally different or may not be there at all. Um, so we're going for the ghost flame look. Once we do that, I'll use a product called, um, and a PPG product, it's a DBC 500. And uh, so in between the coats, especially when you're doing airbrush work, that overspray, that overspray becomes part of the of the design itself. So when you take a tack rough uh, cloth between them, if you're wiping that off too much, you're changing the actual design of it. So I take this uh, DBC 500, which is like a base coat clear. I'll put that on between my my color changes, and the and I'll you get to see it too because it gives you that depth of of what you've got. Where if you just put uh, just a little bit of airbrush of a pearl or a little bit of airbrush of a of a transparent type color, candy type color, you really are not going to see what it looks like or the depth of that. Uh, you want to be pretty careful, especially on a, on a traditional style flame where you've got it masked off. You don't want to build up too much in that clear because you're going to wind up with a, a line and, 
and that's the last thing I want to see when I'm, I'm looking at paints is to see the actual line in the paint of where the paint job is and where the flame has been painted on. So we'll wet sand that out and then it'll be slick. So when you're looking at a, like a profile of the car and you're looking at the, uh, the light reflection, you're not going to see that line from where the, uh, the flames are masked off. So that'll be this weekend's project. I don't know if Michelangelo is going to make it in. He's our airbrush guy that's been doing a lot of work. We've been working together for years and years and years. Um, if not Ed, who is painting this, Ed's our painter. Uh, he can lay out flames, traditional style flames. So if Ed don't do it, I'll be down here tomorrow working and on Sunday. So we've got three choices. I'm not sure who's going to actually lay the flames out, but one of three people are going to do it, or maybe a couple of us may get on it just to get her done. So um, by Monday, we have to, well, let's do this. Should we say Monday? We're going to do 1105, show off some orange flames. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. So there it is. The XL, the 2XLT didn't get lost in space. It just got in a time warp there. So, summer's here. Tea buckets are happening. It's time for what? Pass it on? Coffee break we haven't, we haven't done the coffee break one in a while. Man, I actually had two cups of coffee this morning. Am I wired here on this one? <laughs> I've only had one. You know, I've never read the prefix. Really? Yeah, I don't think I've even read the prefix. Hmm. So I'm going to read the prefix. What is the prefix? The beginning? Before the beginning? Well, it's like a before the beginning, learn about the author kind of thing. Okay, well, this is by Ernie O. Gilcrease. He wrote these in 2014. Ooh. So these are uh, Hot Rod Man, we call them. Now we know. And, uh, oh, and there's a, a website address here, too, handbookofhappiness.com. <laughs> okay. It is possible that we overlook the obvious every day. It is possible that everyone carries wealth beyond our wildest dreams in the very life that we possess. Could it be possible that we have hidden our happiness by covering it with ideas of fear and unhappiness? True happiness is treasured buried just under the surface, everywhere, in everyday life. Make a habit of brushing away the mundane dust of the mediocre, mediocre, not mediocre, mediocre life. So we, we don't want no main mundane dust on a mediocre life. Let's just let's just go for it. Let's soar. Let's paint flames. <laughs> so it's flame Friday. Ghost flames. Ghost flames. I want to see ghost flames. I want to see true fire flames. I want to see old school flames. I want to see. You, you. If I said the California kid, what do you think? She's shaking her head. Said, Not clue, no clue what the Cal. It's the California kid. Man, it is like so iconic it's, with the flames. It's awesome. Jason <laughs> Jakes, they got it. It's a movie car. Oh. The California Kid. Somebody posts it. You post the California Kid. So Stephanie, that's her job when she's done here, to find a copy or a picture of the California Kid and to post it. So that'll be our flames there. So that's it for today. It's the weekend. We're not going to do one tomorrow, but we'll be back Monday. And we're going to show you some flames on it. 2X LT. And I think it looks pretty good. It's not too extended, it's just it looks like it's gonna be really good. So for now, have a good weekend. <laughs>